Hello everybody and welcome to a new developer update. Uh, my name is Mar Martin. I'm an Inkscape developer uh, hoping to make Inkscape better for users and watching the birds fight in my garden while I record a video. Uh, this week I want to first of all give a big shout out to all of my sp sponsors on Patreon. Um, thank you all very much for letting me do, do this. Um, it's been a bit of a dry couple of weeks and uh, I want to encourage everybody who w watches these vi videos to please um, spread them around. See if there's anybody who's using Inkscape who's interested in sp sponsoring me. Um, Patreon or uh, other sponsorships are available. Uh, and if you work for a company, uh, especially if that company uses Inkscape in the way that you work, you're a small shop or a large business that does, does design, uh, consider sponsoring me. Let's make Inkscape more s sustainable and uh, let's make sure that your ideas about what Inkscape should be in the f future are continued. Um, okay, so enough of that. What have we been getting up to? So the reason why I'm outside is not just because it's a beautiful day, uh, but it's also because I uh, set fire to the connectors tool. Um, this is week three of the connectors refactoring. And uh, in order to properly do the connectors functionality, I needed to basically rip apart uh, Inkscape's connectors tool and effectively make it so that it didn't exist anymore. And you might be asking, like, why would you do, do, do this? Surely this is refactoring, not replacement. But uh, I think it's necessary. Sometimes the, the existing code that you have for a particular feature can actually get in the way. And uh, if you try and do it step by step by just removing bits bit at a time, you can end up forgetting things. And uh, one of the things I wanted to do is I wanted to remove as much of the connect connector functionality as I could to find out which parts of Inkscape are tied to the connectors tool. So for example, when I removed the, all of the connectors tool this week, I found that there's a graph layout functionality in the, in the align uh, dialog, which only works if you have the connectors tool. And uh, so disabling that means that I can make a note to re-implement that fun functionality, right? Um, it's also important because the new fun functionality for connectors is completely different to the old one. The semantics for how it's stored in the file, uh, what, it a what the attributes that it uses are completely different. So it doesn't make as much sense to try and evolve it as if it was a you know, feature that we were just improving. In this case, it's it's more of a fun, fundamental change in how this this piece of Inkscape should should work. Um, so having said that, I've got my uh, my fire pit, set fire to a bunch of code. Uh, took me a couple of days to basically t tidy up all, all the edges, you know, where everything that had touched the connect connect tool before, and then I uh, started to recreate the connectors tool, but in the new paradigm. So, so far I've got a points that appear, points that appear when you hover over objects, uh, but this time we're using the not holder, so instead of imp implementing everything manually um, inside the connect connectors tool, we're relying upon existing code bases. Um, we have different kinds of points, so we have the, the original like center point which actually represents the item itself, so connecting to the, the object. And then we have the sub points that I showed you pre previously, where you can connect to points that are inside that object. And then there's a there's a third kind which is called hints. And the idea of hints is that you want a difference between points that actually exist, like in the document, that you can edit and move around, and points that are generated by the type of object themselves. So, for example, you have uh, rectangles that can have you know uh, coordinate points on on the edges. Uh, you have ellipses that could have points generated uh, around the, 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 the circumference. Um, but you can also have hints that are based upon, for instance, the real points that exist in, in clones, right? So, for example, if you drag a, an electrical symbol onto your can canvas, uh, it, it will have points. But those points are not real points that are a part of that cloned object. They're a part of the original object that it's cloned from. And so this allows those hints actually hint at where those points are. And it makes it very sim simple in the implementation to have 
you know, oh, we have a rectangle, generate these list of points. Oh, we have a ellipse, generate this list of points. Oh, we have a clone, go get the original points and implement them. Uh, and, and then as soon as you connect up that point, it becomes a real point, right? It gets instantiated in, into the document. Uh, and it means that, you know, even if you have a, an originally cloned item, you can actually still then move that point around if you wanted to, right? You can still edit it because it's a part of the clone, not a part of the original object. Okay. Uh, I also had to implement uh, some highlighting code so that I wanted it to look a bit more like the, the example shown in the con contract with green boxes. I had to implement some, uh, making those boxes fatter and uh, more, more visible. And so now we, we, we can select those points, highlight them. You know that they're active, uh, but we don't have lines. You cannot connect lines in the current code, code base that I have. And that's, that's for next week. So next week, I'm going to be actually connecting lines to together. Uh, hopefully it won't be too bad um, because we have all of the, 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 the pieces, right? The, uh, the live path effect is available. We have all of these points and these connectors available. So a lot of this is just going to be tying to together the tool, uh, the actual tooling of what we want. And then once all that's done, I need to give it to you guys to test because there are going to be holes. There are going to be missing fe features and things that I've ripped out now where you're like, oh, if you press this key or do this thing or have this fun functionality or like snapping to this or, you know, things that I can't even think think about. So te testing is going to be crucial. Um, I did do some other stuff this week. I held a, another charity class for this time for the Footsteps Fest, Fest, Festival group. Uh, it was a really great two hour session um, where I taught them all in, in, basically an introduction to Inkscape. Um, I'll be putting a video on U U YouTube for, for that. Um, I did the start screen translation, so Inkscape will be released in a handful of days, maybe three or four days. And so. Uh, I needed to make sure that the start screen, the one that appears that says welcome, let's set up a few things, which is in English, uh, also had translations available in basically all of our languages. I took all of the lang languages that were the most important uh, by a website statistics, and I, I um, asked specifically for translations. I went for Russian, I went for Arabic, I went for like a bunch of Spanish, Portuguese. I, I literally went out and found translators to, to help me translate those two lines. Um, so thank you to everybody who helped uh, get those done. Those are now merged in. They'll, those those will look good, I think. Um, I also fixed an issue. There was a bug in the uh, export P PNG where it, it f would forget to save the file name for the uh, for the, the, the file that you put in. So it would it would export the PNG to, to that file name, but then it would just forget the file name. So um, glad I've glad I got that before the the, the release went out. Um, and that's about it for this week. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for putting up with the bird song and everything that's going on outside here. Um, I'll see you guys all next week, and let me know what you think about what's uh, how we're doing with the connectors pro pro project. And um, don't forget to like and subscribe and do all that jazz. And thank you very much.